A lot of people are just dick riders though. Like, bro, a lot of niggas like certain things, but once they see other people not like it, they just shift the topic. I remember when Cyberpunk uh, 2077 came out, bro. Niggas hated that game with a passion. I remember I actually liked the game, but like since niggas hated it, I stopped playing it, bro, because I thought, yo, it was trash or whatever. <laughs> Up, boys today we're gonna react to the problem with fake fans let's tap in man the fake fan epidemic has reached its boiling point bro all of a sudden only girls are all secretly fans of anime cartoons whatever thing you like growing up you know it's not suspicious at all could it be possible that maybe they don't even like these things but they realize the more they dress up as anime girls video game characters that guys will continue to toss money at them endlessly because for some reason that works you would think bro sophie rain and all of them little whores be the main culprits, bro. Yo, go on TikTok right now and search up Spider-Man. The first video you finna see is a Sophie Rain video. Nigga, I guarantee Sophie doesn't know shit about Spider-Man. She probably don't even know who Peter Parker is, bro. Like, they're just doing that for, uh, to attract, you feel me, little kiddos, man. To start going and shit. Like on a basis level, like, hmm, this woman's dressing up as characters that are known to be liked by guys. But I guess critical thinking isn't a skill that everybody has because this shit always works, bro. The minute a girl dresses up as a popular anime character or a popular video game character or whatever it is, it could be fucking Gwen from Total Drama Island. Guys are throwing cash at them like Drake in a strip club. It's actually insane, bro. Like, I don't understand how nobody ever raised an eyebrow that all of a sudden when OnlyFans hit this prime, when all of a sudden it's the biggest thing in the world, all of a sudden every Every single girl on the planet likes anime. And this is not to say that there's no such thing as girls that like anime or whatever. Like, obviously, I'm not stupid. They do. I'm pretty sure Violet Myers, she likes anime. That's why she's, like, so obsessed with it. But besides that, I don't think that many, no, none of these girls like that. Girls are human too. They can have the exact same interests as guys, okay? What I'm saying is, you ever see a girl's account and they got one of them OF links, you know what I'm saying? You already know. The only anime characters they ever like or dress up as or have any interest in are the ones that are profitable and monetizable on their OF. Okay, obviously they don't really like the show. They just Google top five best looking anime girls and bought the cosplay and now all of a sudden you guys are throwing money at them, right? I understand the how it works, why it works, all right? My problem is with the dumb dudes that actually believe they like these things. Like, I genuinely saw a comment like praising violet myers saying how she'd be the perfect girlfriend because she likes anime my brother there's no she 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 does actually like anime though like i got sources like that say she likes anime she's a little bit different but like the other girls yeah i'll be real girls that have your same interest violet myers is a a, a corn star bro like obviously maybe that's not the best choice for a girlfriend like you ever have a close friend bro like you think they your boy and you go through their instagram followers and it's all anime cosplay girls but like those type of anime cosplay girls bro i don't knock what your interests are my boy but like i hope you know that you're being nigga y'all see this shit what the hell used bro again this is not a knock at the girls who do it right because as you know living in this country or whatever country living in the world really if you have any way to get to the bag you might as well take it Some because you might be as well crazy, be bro. unmoral and rich than moral and broke through like seeing this i realized there's a severe lack of like critical judgment in a lot of guys because when i first knew this was a thing i thought at least most guys knew they were just being used for their money violet would be vi they had violet would be wifey material if she was an actress i'm gonna tell y'all right now no, there's a reason why all of these girls are porn stars and be, it's because they're not wifey material i'm just keeping it real bro i don't care how a girl acts if she is if she is unfaithful if she's unfaithful she is not wifey material bro i'm just keeping it a bean bro had to get one like, off she's which not. is like you know all power to you but i've seen so many comments genuinely being like man i wish girls like this lived in my city i uh, guess i'll just be lonely forever bro i'm gonna be honest with you most women like i said have your same interests. like i guarantee you could meet pretty much any girl that at least has a very similar interest to you in the real world by following and like giving money to these girls you're not meeting your dream girl they just know guys like you exist and it's an easy way to get to the bag like bro you're literally the stepping stones to them putting cash in their hand okay you're not like their imaginary internet boyfriend like you're not gonna meet this girl hold her hand and skip across the lake together and like skip rocks and shit like it's not gonna happen bro realistically if you did have a chance to sit down with them you might realize you have literally nothing in common okay just because she does cindy moon silk cosplays on her tiktok and dresses up as the green m m and does all these quirky things that you as a guy like and you see that does not mean that she's automatically your type realistically the girls have the internet too they see what you like all they have to 
do is just pretend to like those things and you'll give them a bag. And you'll do it every time because it literally works on every single dude. <laughs> However, though, girls are not the only ones that do this, okay? And they're not the only ones. A lot of guys do this on this very platform, bro. What I've realized okay. is a lot of guys see a trend, see something jumping, popping, they'll jump on that, make a ton of videos about it, and then they'll jump ship whenever they think it's going to fall off, okay? Like, that is YouTube. I'm not going to lie. It's just a bunch of people hopping on a trend, abusing it, acting like they're interested in it, and then once it's not making them money no more, hop on another dick. I mean, another trend. That's what they do. That's literally what they do. I'm not going to lie. Bro. Like... Bro, when I was doing the school shit, bro, I was in school, so it made sense for me to make school videos. But, bro, a lot of niggas started doing school videos. Mind you, they're like five years out of high school and shit. And I'm not saying that's a bad thing. You can do that, bro. But you, but I guarantee if you ask them, they had no interest in school topics before they seen my shit popping off. 20v1's prime example. Half of these niggas that do 20v1's don't even want to do 20v1's. They just want money. That's all they that's all they want. They want money. So they just get that shit. Profit off of it. And yeah. Oh wow, there's a new popping anime this week and it's the biggest thing in the world. Time for a bunch of dudes to hop on the love train, act like they've loved it since the first season, whatever it is, make a bunch of videos, and then whenever it falls off, they pump and dump it and they leave and they never talk about it again. That doesn't even just go for just anime, bro. Even in the music community, there are so many Playboy Cardi OPM accounts. They only talked about Cardi. They were Cardi's biggest fans since day one. They knew about him before you, blah, 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 right? And all of a sudden, the minute Cardi's not the hottest topic on the block anymore and Drake and Kendrick are beefing and whatever, all of a sudden, they're Drake channels. They're Kendrick channels. They love real hip hop. What? You guys were just OPM channels last week talking about some. We're bringing real hip hop back. You don't care. Your favorite rapper made Magnolia, bro. Not to discard you, okay? <laughs> I'm just saying it's a little odd. This behavior is not only in one genre. They do it to anime. They do it to video games. They hated this video game last week, but now it's the biggest thing. So they've been playing the game since it came out. Matter of fact, a lot of people are just dick riders, though. Like, bro. A lot of niggas like certain things, but once they see other people not like it, they just shift the topic. I remember when Cyberpunk uh, 2077 came out, bro. Niggas hated that game with a passion. And I remember I actually liked the game. But, like, since niggas hated it, I stopped playing it, bro, because I thought, yo, it was trash or whatever. Bro, I remember, like, three, four months later, once everybody uh, threw away the game and shit, it was a snow week during, like, it was just, it was just a random snow week couldn't go to school for a week so i just decided to play the game i had nothing to do i just decided i just decided to play the game bro i literally fell in love with the game it's my favorite game now favorite game of all time right now literally my favorite game of all time i'm telling you bro a lot of niggas just a lot of bro a lot of people just switch up their opinions on things just because people don't like it they're its biggest fan if somehow the suicide squad game became relevant again and popping so many channels will act like they've loved it since the beginning and that realistically they liked it when you guys didn't like it remember when whole lot of red came out and everybody hated it but all of a sudden thousands and thousands and thousands of guys were like i'm calling it a classic it. now bro that's just I still like that's big, true bro. Bro. i think half Sorry. the internet hated that album okay if i see one more comment saying you guys are fighting for your life to defend something that wasn't popular and now it is popular if that was the case bro then everybody would have liked it if thousands and thousands of people are fighting for their life to defend something that gets trashed most likely it wasn't getting trashed because everybody liked it the only fan base that i've seen have to genuinely defend their thing against the entire world is my hero fans bro and honestly i feel for some of y'all i made a video my hero is so Nordia weird bro i'm sorry so many y'all in my comments so with boxing gloves i respect it though at least y'all standing up for something so many of these new fake fans act like they liked it see me i'm not gonna hold you guys all right i'm not gonna act like i liked my hero even if it became better later on i'm not gonna act like i liked it i hated it when it first came out you know what i'm saying i'm not gonna sit here and act like i liked something just because it's popular but a lot of y'all apparently don't have backbone you guys jump ship whenever something becomes the newest biggest thing this is why i have to say the fake fan epidemic is getting on end because what's gonna happen between both of the things that i mentioned right what's gonna happen with guys jumping ship and acting like they like every single new thing is real criticism is gonna go out the window because nobody wants to be the one to be the hater or something just in case it becomes popular so now every time something comes out everyone's gonna love it off the bat solo leveling so amazing and i'm not gonna say solo leveling's bad i haven't even watched it but i'm saying like the unanimous everything's amazing opinion is happening because nobody wants to be the hater nobody wants to be the one that people talk about was the hater the solo leveling is good though up. no one wants to be that guy everyone wants to be the guy that defended something until it became popular okay that they were the first ones on this ship and it's gonna negatively affect things because now that there's no real criticism and honesty is kind of going out the window no one will really know what things are good and what things are bad right chat which like what's something that you would defend to your 
core, no matter how, no matter what people think of it. What's something that everybody thinks is trash, but you'll defend it to its core? Something for me right now. Uh, sports wise, Brock Purdy is a top seven QB in the league. And he's better than Jalen Hurts. He's better than Jalen Hurts. Vultures too. I'm defending Vultures too. too. I ain't gonna lie. Niggas are calling it Kanye's worst album. It's, no, it's not. It's better than Ye. It's better than Ye in my opinion. Vultures too. I'm still defending that shit. And niggas are calling that shit ass. I still defend that shit. J. Cole, bro. You're you're fighting with a lot of soldiers, bro. Pineapple and Pizza, you're you got that, bro. The X-Men movies, I'll defend the X-Men movies to my fucking grave, bro. Except except Apocalypse, bro. Apocalypse is, you feel me? Apocalypse is ass. I'm, I'm sorry. I don't know. Cars 2. Yo, that's mine. Cars 2. I will defend that shit to my grave. Cars 2 was the best Cars movie. I'll defend that shit to my grave. I don't care. Cars 1 was a classic. Yeah. Cars 3 was beautiful. Yeah. But Cars 2 was just that movie. I don't care what niggas say. It was just that movie. Cars 2 was just that movie, bro. Oh, right. I mean, and even if you do know what things are good and bad, you nobody wants to be the guy to be the first one to come up and be a hater. It's just like nobody wants to be that guy. It's not a good look. Most people aren't going to like you, even if you're right. You can criticize the most popular game from fake fans, and all of a sudden, everybody's going to hate you. You're going to have like darts being thrown at your face in their house. Fortnite is this big victim look, of right? this, bro. But on the opposite I'm not end, lie. as far as like the girls with OFs go, like using anime and video games to sell their OS, what I think is going to happen is most guys are going to take that out on all women, right? Guys aren't going to be able to tell which girls are lying and which girls are telling the truth. So it's going to start with guys openly attacking girls right i've seen it in my own comments where like a girl said she played video games and a dude in my comments was like name every single video game ever and like it's not even these girls faults at all it's really just because a lot of girls can see like how monetizable it is to like take an interest of a guy and just like dress up as it to sell an only fans right or even if they're not doing only fans just for like attention i guess it's all over instagram all over tiktok you can see okay, these like big fan cosplay girls on any platform right but it really does affect girls who genuinely have these interests because not to make up them fake girls guys this, but crazy. a lot of guys are just gonna attack them it's like back in the day when it was like name five nirvana songs right now like it's gonna be that all over again because now a lot of dudes are gonna be angry and frustrated with the girls that are just monetizing their interests to get them to spend money on them you know what i'm saying guys are gonna be out here like giving girls quizzes to even enter any like community right like oh yeah name your top five naruto fights in japanese bro like what and same with the dudes honestly i feel like guys should be held to the same standard like if you're gonna make a bunch of anime videos you should at least know what you're talking about right that you is real like video game videos you shouldn't just be like making these videos because you know they're gonna get money like you probably should have some kind of base knowledge about the thing you're talking about yeah that's true Gen Z is not gonna not gonna lie that's what i thought Britt was doing off the uh bat i ain't gonna lie i kind of did too but then like before i collabed with her bro i wanted to make sure she actually could play the game so i just sat through one of her streams nah she she good bro she's good i'm not gonna lie she's good now i don't know if the reason why she started playing Fortnite was for uh, OnlyFans and shit. I don't know. But she's actually tough. And she's actually good. She knows shit about the game and all that. I ain't gonna lie. But, uh... And plus, I talked to her, too. Like, she's actually, like, a chill, cool person, bro. She don't just be portraying that shit. Which I actually kind of thought she was. But, no, she's actually a pretty cool person, bro. Like, for real. Still don't fuck with the OnlyFans shit. But, like, I mean, she's cool, bro. Like... I ain't finna get. Plus, I'm not finna hate on her for doing it. On some chill shit. She's a good person, in my opinion. But, uh. Same thing for Scam. Like, I ain't gonna lie. I, I, I don't feel like OnlyFans is the way. But, like, if you're a cool person, I'm not finna hate on you for having OnlyFans, bro. You're a cool person, bro. You feel me? We cool. Like, that's just how I feel. Y'all can get mad at me for doing that, but, like, bro. I mean, that's just how I feel. I'm just keeping it real, y'all. Uh, let me, let me copy this Mamba paragraph real quick to end the video off. Mamba has spoken. <laughs> Mamba paragraph alert, bro. Uh, let me go. It matters what you post. I mean, at the end of the day, I'm going to just keep it a beam. I'm never finna, like, hold on. 
I'm gonna just keep it a beam. I know y'all niggas, bro. I know most of y'all. I know we have like a lot of new niggas now. Cause of all the scam shit and like the clouds been blowing up crazy. But most of y'all, if not like all of y'all, I believe I I I'm pretty sure you don't buy that shit. But if you do, I mean you know what you're getting yourself into, bro. There's there's no reason why OnlyFans should be so popular, as popular as it is, bro. But niggas are buying that shit, bro. That's why it's available to be as popular as it is, bro. I feel like we talk so much about the OnlyFans people, the whores who be doing it and all that shit, right? And yeah, like, if you're trying to, like, promote your shit to kids, I feel like that's fucking wrong, right? But at the same time, if you're an adult male and you're buying girls OnlyFans, you're just as much in the wrong. You're you're just, you're just as much in the problem, bro. Cause why are you doing that, bro? Like, come on, man. Why are you doing that? When OnlyFans girls like try to you feel me push this shit on the kids, ew, ew, ew. Don't fuck with that at all. But if you're an adult man and you're buying these girls OnlyFans, I blame you. Why, bro? Why, bro? Like, right, come on, do better. Let's get this Mamba paragraph in and then we finna end this. If you take nothing else away, always remember this. Just because everybody's booing you doesn't make the right and doesn't make you wrong. Stand on your opinions and always be real. Personally, I don't give a damn if people boo or disagree. My job isn't to be liked or popular, it's to clearly articulate my points in the best way I know how and be confident in my opinions as an individual. Okay. Always remember that y'all. paragraph man i'm not finna lie that's real bro just be y'all bro don't lie be y'all be authentic bro i need to, i need to hear that shit too i'm not gonna lie bro i haven't been authentic with y'all at fully bro and i feel like the main thing i've been hiding back is when i get emotional bro like you feel me my weaknesses and shit i feel like me telling y'all that story today, that's a big step for me, bro. I'm not finna lie. Y'all might not think it is, but, bro, but, like, I've never, like, admitted to that shit, bro. Like, I, I told Zay the story, but, like, I didn't really, like, you feel me? I ain't tell him everything, bro. And that's the first time I ever got that shit off my chest, bro. So, I feel like, you feel me, I need, I just need to start being more authentic and being real with y'all niggas, man. Because, yeah, it's okay to be vulnerable, bro. It's cool. People like it. YouTube, we out. Thank you.